it's out of our control. It's not like he wants to kill. He just doesn't want to die. You know what I'm saying? It's that, it's that situation when you got, we, we are living in a war zone. I feel like I could represent my generation so much because I honestly did not care whether I lived or died. But now, I cannot die. I can't leave until this shit is straight. You know, I'm not suicidal. I'm not, I can't go until y'all really know what time it is. And then after that, boom, it's all over. And we can see, you know, how this shit fall. But that's how it is. And the reason being is because if I can't live free, if I can't live with the same respect as the next man, I don't want to be here. Because God has cursed me to see what life should be like. What is poverty? Poverty is a state or condition in which a person or community lacks the financial resources for a minimum standard of living, and that the income level from unemployment is so low that basic human needs cannot be met. The basic needs this definition refers to are food and water, clothing and shelter, as well as sanitation, health, and education. There are two main types of poverty absolute poverty and relative poverty. Absolute poverty is where income is not enough to afford basic necessities. The criteria for this type of poverty is not changed by economic growth and it compares households based on a set level income. Relative poverty on the other hand is when income is 50% less than average median income. Criteria for this type of poverty is affected by economic growth. Relative poverty is not total poverty, but it means that they do not have and will likely not achieve the same standard of living as other people, such as the internet or transportation. Socialists place the blame of poverty on issues of income distribution, calling for a redistribution for the wealth while neoliberalists are dedicated to creating conditions for profitable private investments as the solution. Poverty can be caused or exacerbated by lack of education, illiteracy, overpopulation, divorce, epidemics or pandemics, environmental problems, and low-wage service jobs. Income distribution is the equality of how income is dealt out among members of a society. The income distribution is perfectly equal if everyone earns exactly the same amount of income. The inequalities we see in our current global wealth distribution are largely due to industrialization. It was during this time that we began to see large gaps between the wealth of certain countries. However, globalization is only accelerating the gap. For example, in 1820, Great Britain, one of the richest countries in the world, was only three times richer than the poorest, such as China or India. However, today that gap is around 100 to 1. Estimates show that the total global wealth is about $360 trillion. North America and Europe hold 67% of that wealth while only making up less than 20% of the population. In contrast, India and Africa make up 30% of the population and hold about 2% of the wealth. According to Elise Gold from the Economic Policy Institute, income inequality was the largest poverty increasing factor. If income growth had been equally distributed, the poverty rate would have been about 5.5 points lower or 40%. A lot of these factors caused by income inequalities help to keep people in poverty. There are certain things that can be done to lessen the divide between the richest and poorest citizens and to help pull people out of poverty. Raising the minimum wage has the potential to help nearly 4.6 million people out of poverty. Additionally, you can increase taxes of the rich, as high taxes after a marked income level help deter rich company owners from paying themselves an outrageously large salary. Also, we can reform our tax policies in regards to capital gains, as these policies make investment income more valuable than income earned from work.